Lesser Light by Matthew Draper. Chapter Eleven. Mossy green grass wound through the cemetery, between trees with wide hips marking the passage of time. Weeds bloomed, faded, and grew again year after year along the edge of the path. Lizzie and I made our way in silence, an uneasy peace formed between us after our argument on the way here. Freshly swept gravel crunched gently beneath our feet. We could see a couple of other visitors bringing flowers. We should have stopped for flowers before we got on the tram. I berated myself. Perhaps we can leave a mince pie at least. Some older graves looked neglected. Their visitors no longer free to come as often as they would like, or having joined their partners, friends, or family years ago. More recent graves had been left little gifts, ceramic reminders they were on their family's mind at Christmas. A gaudy, colourful Christmas kitten had been left beside a headstone. Its painted paw reaching towards the cold granite. I thought about how much Rocco's mums would have appreciated the bright print of the kitten with its red and green striped bow. In a few European countries, families and friends visit cemeteries on Christmas Eve with jars of candles. I had never understood why you would tinge the magic of Christmas with the sorrow of loss, but walking in here today, I could sense the spirits holding a vigil over the festive season. Victorians shared ghost stories at Christmas around the fire. If Halloween was a time for monsters, so Christmas was a season for ghosts. The ghosts of past, present, and future felt connected in a place like this, at a time when the boundaries between the real and imagined were thinned. It had been a while since either of us visited Oscar's grave, so it took a bit of to and froing before Lizzie and I could orientate ourselves. Our previous conversation was forgotten, and Lizzie's bubbly, always helpful role had returned. I distinctly remember we passed this cross and this eagle. As if consulting a map, Lizzie strode down the main path and out across the soft grass between headstones. Over here, she pointed down a row. Halfway along, we saw a figure in a big coat suddenly rise up, startled to peer at us from beneath a deep hood. They were stood over the plot we remembered as Oscar's grave, and, seeing us approach, they took off, making a wild dash for the exit at the far side of the cemetery. For a moment, I was too surprised at the erratic display to react. Then I sprang into action. Oi! I shouted at the receding figure, as though Oscar belonged to us exclusively. I set off in pursuit. Is that Sebastian? I heard Lizzie shout the question as I zipped after the person in black who zigzagged through the graveyard like Pac-Man, chasing coloured dots, dipping left and right through the grave markers as I made chase. They did not slow down, and when they reached the gate they gripped the top and launched themselves over onto the path the other side. As I arrived, out of breath, to lean on the gate, whoever it was had disappeared towards town. If it was one of Oscar's family, why run away when disturbed? If it was Sebastian, surely he would have stayed to talk with us. Goosebumps ran up my back. The hairs on the back of my neck stood on end. For a moment, I felt as though someone was looming above me. Dust pouring down my spine. A faceless angel reaching clawed, skeletal fingers around my neck. Lizzie interrupted. Harry, look! I sprinted back to the grave as Lizzie lifted a painted glass Christmas tree decoration angel from off of the headstone. Bastard. It was unlike Lizzie to swear. Why would he bring this here, here of all places? A card had been left under the decoration, on top of the headstone. Tacky Font declared, Happy Christmas, above a fearsome looking snowman with coal for eyes and a wonky smile. Inside, a handwritten note. Oscar, please, please can we end it this year?
Lesser Light is an online event. Head to lesserlight.blog to join in the comments section or share this story on Facebook, Twitter, Hive or your favourite social media platform. The Lesser Light paperback is available from lulu.com or other booksellers or you can download the ebook now. But remember, no spoilers until New Year's Day. The story is fictional, but if the elements about trauma, cults or recovery have affected you, you can find helplines at lesserlight.blog.